am proud to announce that a good close personal friend of mine is here today to ask you about a couple more maps. And his name is Stan Stan the Continent Man. How did you know? I got, I got a little, I got a little excited. I was, because uh, it's been a while since I seen y'all. How are y'all doing out there? All right, that's good to hear. You know, I got my, I got me some maps here, and I was hoping you could help me identify them. You think you can do that? Yeah. yeah? Well, all right. That's good to hear, because you know, I tell you what. It's a hard thing identifying maps. Now, I've been working on it for a long time, trying to figure out how I could identify maps, and I'm telling you, it is hard. But I, I was over there watching, and I heard you doing a good job of telling words that help you identify what type of map it is. Now, let me, show you, let me say that I showed you this map right here. What would you say what type of a map that might be there? What type of a map might that be? Any ideas? You, somebody said they think it's a political map. Does anybody disagree? Would anybody like to disagree? Why would you say, could you please tell me why you would say that is a political map? It has the borders, yes, and it names the countries, doesn't it? Yes, indeedy. We have Pakistan, Afghanistan, Kazakhstan, uh, Kazakhstan, and so on, and Mongolia, and China, and all those countries. It shows us the borders. It shows us where the political borders for those countries are. Thank you very much. All right. Now, let's see here. What type of map might that be there? What type of map do you suppose that could be? Relief? Or what's another word for that? What was one of our other words that you were talking about earlier? Was that political? Political? Does that show us the borders of the countries here? Oh, unfortunately, I don't. What was the other AL words we used for that kind of a map there? Physical. Physical. Yeah. Now, why would you say that's a physical map there? It tells you about the land. Now, what does it tell you about the land? How does it tell you about the land? High and low. High and low. So this over here, for example, is that high or low right here? High. That, that would be a higher elevation. Yeah. Now, what about the difference in color? What's green as opposed to brown? Green might be grasslands. Green could be grasslands. Oh, I like that. I like that. What else could green be? And the brown could be... Green could be grasslands. What else could green be? Is there that much grass all over the world? No. It could be grass. What else could it be? How about, uh, how about forest? Could green be forest, too? Yeah, it could be some trees, some forest. Like right down here in South America. What do you suppose that is in there? A That's a rainforest? Okay, so what about over here in Africa? What's that, then? Probably a desert. That could be a desert. It looks kind of dry, doesn't it? Yep. Yeah. So this one, does this one show us any of the borders? No, so it's, it's not political. It doesn't show us the borders. It doesn't tell us what the names of the countries are. This one is probably closest to what we might see if we were out in space looking at the Earth, I suppose, because 
when you're out in space looking at the earth, you don't see any borders, do you? It's not like there's lines drawn all over the earth, is there? No. No. This is more like what you'd see if you're floating out in space. Of course, it wouldn't be flat. It'd be around. But at any rate, you'd see the land kind of like that. Yeah, so you wouldn't see all those borders, all those political borders. Now, I got one more map for you here. I actually have it. And I'd like you to tell me, what do you think this kind of map might be here? What type of map could that be? Street map. A street map, perhaps? Somebody said a street map. Any other ideas? Have you ever seen a map like that before? City map. What's that? A city map was another idea. This one looks a little bit different to me than that one you were looking at from uh, Mexico. What do you suppose? Look at there's a 1 and a 9 and an S and a C and an E. And there's all these colorful lines taking you to different parts of the city there. So that could be streets. What else could that be besides streets? I know this might be foreign to you because you're in Denver, Colorado, where they don't have as quite as much public transportation. But here in New York City, they have a lot of public transportation. That's actually a subway map. Subway map. How about that? So you could be here and you could take the red subway all the way up to there and go to that part of town with the subway. Neato, I tell you. My name is Stan the Catnip Man. Thank you very much for your attention and your participation. I'll be seeing you soon. Bye now. Bye now. See ya. Hey, Stan. What, I got to tell you, Stan was right on today. I think we've, we just have time to sing through these.